a 35 billion pesos high-speed road network project is nearing completion. Yes, this is the Cavite Laguna Expressway, a venture that will connect the Manila Cavite Expressway and South Luzon Expressway. It will cut down travel time from the current 2 hours and 30 minutes to just a remarkable 45 minutes, making traveling around the Cavite Laguna areas easier than ever before. It is a program aimed to provide efficient transportation links for the 11 million people living in Cavite and Laguna provinces. In addition, it will greatly benefit the economic zones in and around the city. After all, the cities surrounding this project are the second largest contributor to the country's total economic output. This toll expressway is over 45 kilometers long and will incorporate four lanes, each having a width of 3.5 meters. It is composed of two sections, which is the Cavite and Laguna segments. The first part, which is the Cavite section, spans 26 kilometers long, and it will start from Tirona Highway in Kuwait, Cavite, and end at Aguinaldo Highway in Silang, Cavite. Meanwhile, the Laguna section spans 18 kilometers long, and it will begin from Aguinaldo Highway and connect South Luzon Expressway via Montplaisant Interchange. The total cost of this structure is estimated to be over 35 billion pesos and will be financed by both the private sector and government sector. Before the beginning of the construction, the Department of Public Works and Highways issued an invitation for a pre-qualification to construct, operate, and maintain the Cavite Laguna Expressway told project under a public-private partnership arrangement in July 2013. Bidding for this was started in June 2014, and the toll road contract was initially awarded to a consortium led by the giant conglomerate, Ayala Corporation. But the deal was terminated when local company San Miguel Corporation filed a legal complaint against the contract award. The Philippine government approved rebidding for the Cavite Laguna Expressway project in November 2014 and the Metro Pacific Investments Corporation was selected by the ministry as the winning bidder at 27 billion pesos in June 2015. Metro Pacific Corporation paid 20% of the total bid premium, amounting to almost 6 billion pesos to the Department of Public Works and Highways during the concession agreement signing ceremony held in July 2015. The deal also provides Metro Pacific with the right to collect toll fees. The grant of incentives for the Cavite Laguna project was approved by the Philippine Board of Investments in April 2017 under the government's 2017 Investment Priorities Plan. The construction began in June 2017 and is expected to be completed by 2022. The first 10 kilometers of the Laguna segment has already been made and is accessible since October 30, 2019 and has then been serving up to 10,000 cars every day. This part of the project has then generated significant results as it reduced travel time from 45 minutes to just 10 minutes. This expressway will also operate on 100% electronic mode running on RFID technology a feat to combat contamination from the virus, which may spread through bills and coins. Anyway, what can you say about Cavite Laguna Expressway? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more amazing videos.